Hi, this is Peter. Hi, this is Sandra. And we are Medievalist.net. And we're doing the seventh episode today in Full Metal Jousting. Yes, we've uh, kind of missed a uh, couple of weeks, uh, but we're back and we get treated to two jousts. Yes, so we have uh, a really exciting episode where there's very little drama, very little um, stuff going on inside the house, if at all. And it's basically one joust after another. So first we have the preliminary joust, bleh, joust and then we go right into the quarter quarterfinals. Yeah, yeah, like I think the I think the pace of the show is going to now pick up because uh there's only a, 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 I think a couple more episodes left, but the uh the idea is like now that you know, we've kind of got a good idea of all the kind of characters involved, so it's just kind of time to uh see these jousts and see them uh compete against each other. I really enjoyed this episode cuz it was all about the actual jousting and uh the preliminary we had um James uh, Fairlow and uh, Joe McKinley competing. James uh, missed an opportunity to joust before because he uh, had a concussion when he um, uh, fell off Superman. But being the brave soul that he was... Um, he gets back on. He gets back on Superman. He initially picks another horse called Gulliver, and the horse doesn't seem to want to ride. So he picks Superman again, and, and he really, really... Um, kills it and he, and he wins it's well great. it was kind of a you know a really kind of a interesting episode basically it comes out to the last shot uh where uh the you know, james unhorses the, his opponent it was really kind of you know kind of dramatic and like because otherwise like well you may have been like uh you didn't know where it was going to go because they're uh, uh fairly close like uh but in the end uh yeah james uh, uh, kind of gets this blow, and the other rider all, almost is able to stay up, but he uh, ultimately falls, and he's out. So yeah, it's pretty interesting because he's basically secured himself a slot in the quarterfinals. And you know, it's interesting because they're both smaller, um, smaller guys. They're not the big hulking hmm. um, regular people that are on there. They're smaller guys, and. But they're solid riders, and Joe and James gave a really good effort. And because they're so evenly matched, it was more fun. It's more fun to watch when it's sort of uh, not one guy obliterating another guy. Um, and then we moved right away into the corner finals. So Shane Adams um, and the trainers meet together. They pick. We realize that there's three from the black team moving on, five from the red team. That means two red team members. Um, I believe it's Jake and, um, oh, the name's eluding me now. Another, another J. Oh, another J. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and J uh, Jake and I think James, sorry, yeah. are, um, riding against each other, but not for this initial one. For this initial one, we have Josh uh, Knowles and Paul Suda, who, interestingly enough, are buddies in the theatrical yeah. circuit. Uh, you know, I actually I've, I kind of noticed a lot. There's a lot of kind of friendships. A lot of people seem to have known each other uh, here, and I, I guess it's not a bit of a not much of a surprise. Maybe like when they're doing the casting, it's like, well, yeah, I know this person who can you know come along, and and then in other cases, people like. Uh, there's not really, like, so far, there's not anyone that hates each other, right? It seems like they're all kind of quite, get along quite well, so, um, but, uh, the, uh, they, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, one of them has a bit of an advantage over the other one, like, trained the other guy, um, and, uh, had, probably has that more experience and it kind of, uh, shows in the, the, the match. Um, I found there's very little uh, confrontation. There was some in earlier episodes, uh, but this is interesting because they're two really good friends, and they kind of had to put their friendship aside and just like go for gold. And uh, it turns out to be a great match because not only do we get a double joust, we get a double in horsing, and they just collide and like boom and completely fly off the horses and it's awesome you see everything in slow-mo it's like an action food and they're just crunch and everything all over the floor it's great and yeah. um you know it's kind of sucks because the, the first pass um josh basically um unhorses paul but because they're out of bounds it doesn't count and you're like oh man that's gotta uh, suck you know when uh, you knock somebody off their horse and then you're told well 
you guys were kind of off yeah. out of bounds, so that didn't count. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but like they were also kind of mentioning, well, it kind of unnerves the like the opponent, right? Like they get, get and in his head. It gets in his head exactly, and you can kind of tell from the rest of the the uh, joust onwards. Like one guy had a, a serious advantage over the other. They're pretty pretty good, you know. They started off with the the uh, kind of the unhorsing that wasn't and then it just kind of moves into a couple lame single hits and kind of quiets down and then you have the the, the massive collision with Paul and Josh um, double unhorsing each other and it's uh, you know and Josh Josh unhorses him three times to move into the semifinals and uh, Next week, it's going to be pretty exciting as, you know, they crank it up. Yeah, I think they'll have three ep, uh, ep, uh, joust next week, the other three quarterfinals. Triple so joust. They, uh, so that'll be, that's, that looks interesting. And, uh, yeah, so far, yeah, like, it's uh, uh, kind of seeing the scene, like, I guess we're going to see basically who the very best are. It's just going to merge out of these quarterfinals, so. Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that they're just, it's a lot of just the jousting and stuff. There's very little kind of um, reality show drama going on. Like there was yeah. last week or when um, Langdon, or I believe was his name, um, hit the horse and was kicked off. But other than that, I mean, the, the, the show is kind of minimal on that, and I'm, I, I like it. It's just you're really watching basically just two guys colliding into each other yeah. the entire show. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for this other group of people that have eliminated and they've just been kind of watching. I, I understand they're probably there as, you know, training partners, right? That's what it Yeah, seems, but. so that they can train with each other and, uh, you know, but yeah, it's got to suck to watch from the sidelines. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I'm really enjoying the show and I'm looking forward to see who comes out on top. Right now, I'm kind of hedging my bets on Josh Knowles just because he's such a strong competitor. He's a theatrical He's kind of just really solid, so I'm curious to see who, who in the red team is going to give him a run for the money. Yeah, you know? he's a big, strong guy, you know, and that's mm -hmm. and um, like I think everyone now kind of like that's probably left probably has a uh, a pretty good chance of winning, but uh, it will be you know it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week and then uh, on to the semifinals. Yes, definitely. So tune in with us next week, next Wednesday. Uh, for another exciting, bone jarring, you know, heart pounding, metal melting episode of. Full metal jousting. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good night, thanks. Good night.